Okay, now I told you we were going to finish uh, this piece, and I have done that. And here it is. Here's the finished piece right here. As you can see, the dog, the coon, and what I did. Let me let me explain to you what I did here. Now you don't have to do it this way, but I think this is this is a a, a good way. Uh, to just sort of try if you want to or you know I know a lot of you can finish a lot better and other things but I went down and I got me a uh, base this is just a basswood base is what it is at a hobby store and all the things you can get except for the course the branch you can get at a hobby store I got the base and I went out and I found a branch of a tree and I cut it with my bandsaw. As you can see, I've cut, cut uh, the pieces off here. And I glued it onto this base right here. Now, I went down to the, the hobby store. Or of course, I had a lot of these things. And I got me some Mod Podge. Or you can get uh, spray-on adhesive or whatever it is that you want. Uh, this is just a Mod Podge, it's called. It's like a glue. And I coated the bottom... Uh, or the area around the tree with glue or, in, or with a spray adhesive. And I, I took what it's called, uh, you can get that this is, what this is, is this is for trains, uh, train sets and things like this. This is just a fine granular grass and a fine granular, uh, just sort of a, a brownish uh, dirt like that. And as you can see, that's what's on the base there. In other words, you can buy it at a hobby store, at a Hobby Lobby, or any places like that. You get it in the train section. And I put my glue down, and then I just sprinkled the grass and the, uh, the dirt, or the granule dirt, on top of this. And then I let it dry. And then I uh, glued my doll down, and I glued my coon to the tree. And there are a number of different things that you can do for it. Uh, a lot of times I'll put a little sign up here that says no hunting. I'll just make me a little uh, uh, a sign or something like that. And then I'll put an X through it and put some, uh, drill some holes in it like somebody shot it with a shotgun or whatever. But this is the completed piece right here. This is the finished piece. And as you can see, it turns out nice. And like I said, you can do a lot of things to the tree. You can, uh, I even one time when I did one, I, I uh, carved a little uh, wood spirit into the tree, like somebody had carved uh, uh, a wood spirit into the tree or whatever. But this is, this is I'm not going to get into all that right now with beginners. Uh, this is the basic outline of what the, the figure looks like. And then I'll turn it a little bit there. As you can see, the coon, he's been glued up here. And all I did, I went out and just found a uh, branch uh, from a tree and they have them laying around or, or whatever and I just I just cut it it fit, fit on my base in other words to make it a little bit more realistic and I glued the dog in and, and I mean it's just uh, as you can see it's just a nice nice little uh, uh, project and that's the finished piece and like I said remember that this stuff all this is is just you can get it it, it's, it goes with train sets. When these guys build these train sets, it's just a grass. It's a fine uh, turf grass and uh, just a, a fine. And you can get that at Hobby Lobby along with the glue. And uh, they also make a spray adhesive that you can just spray on there and you can sprinkle the stuff and it'll stick. But then you let it dry and you have your finished product. And that's our finished product right there, in other words. Now, you can do it any way you want to. You can do it. You can have him up on a little barn. You can have him up on whatever. But uh, I just put him up on a, on a tree branch. It's making it something a little bit simple. Just go out and find a, a, a tree branch. And uh, uh, just went and bought the base at the hobby store. Now this is a little basswood with a, with a bark around it, uh, base. And just something simple. And like I said, you can do other things. You can put little branches from a tree or something like that around here, in other words, where the doll is and, and stuff, and glue that on there. You can do a number of things with this project, but this is the finished piece, this is the finished project, and um, uh, I, it turned out good. It really did. And I, I mean, you, you make something like this and give to someone as a gift, and they just absolutely love it. And 
But as you can see, when you put them in a seam, you put the dog and the coon in a seam, and I've done, uh, there's also a, a dog not only looking up, but there's one that's looked down, and I've done several uh, scenes like that where I have several dogs, and then the hunter and all that stuff. But right now, we're just concentrating on this specific piece, on this specific, uh, just the coon and the dog itself. And that is your project for this uh, this time. So we have been through the carving, we've been through the painting, and now I explain to you the base that I've made for it, in other words. And it's not a difficult way to make the base, but like I said, you can add little things. You can add little, little limbs or whatever to make it look more like it's in the wood or whatever. You can add just uh, whatever. I mean, you, you know, be, just be creative and the way you do this, but basically this is the way that it's supposed to look uh, when it's through, and um, it, it turned out all right. So I uh, appreciate you tuning in, and, and this is our project, and this is the way that it was all done, and um, it's not real difficult, but you know, you might have to go to the hobby store and get a few things, but uh, are you just, you know, you can you you don't have to use this base necessarily. You can get you another base or whatever. And um, when it's all done, this is our our project, our beginner's project on carving the dog, the coon, and setting up the base for it. And uh, I've enjoyed doing this project. I know it's taken a while uh, with the parts. Uh, I think ten parts with the dog and and four parts with the coon and then the painting and all that so we've added quite a few videos for, for this specific project but as you can see when you're through with it it's a nice little project to have it's a nice project to uh, to uh, uh, have for the to give to someone or whatever and anyway that's our project it's done now and uh, uh, remember just the base 